Welcome students, let us see a first question from the chapter of quadratic equation from NCRT book of standard 10. You know this chapter quadratic equation is very very important for board examination, CBSC board as well as state board. Here question is check whether the following are quadratic equations. So 8 equations are given here, we have to check whether that these given equations are quadratic or not. As we have discussed in the previous video for introduction of quadratic equation, we have discussed already that the standard form, standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are real numbers and this is important to note that a must not be equal to 0 because if a is 0 then this first term will become 0 0 into x square will become 0 so this will reduce to a linear equation so a quadratic equation must have this power 2, you mean degree of equation should be 2, okay. So one by one we will check that whether these given quad equations are quadratic or not, means we have to check that whether these equations can be reduced, can be expressed in the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and particularly we need to check here that a means coefficient of x square must not be equal to 0. So now let us discuss these equations one by one. So here first equation which is x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. Let us simplify it. Here this LHS is x square plus 2x plus 1 and RHS is this is 2x minus 6. We will transpose this 2x minus 6 to left hand side or before transposing even we can cancel this 2x from both the sides. So we will get here x square this plus 1 and minus 6 will be transferred to left side which will become plus 6 so 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so plus 7 is equal to 0 you tell me whether this is quadratic or not of course this is quadratic because in place of a we are having a 1 this can be written as 1 into x square here b is equal to 0 because there is no term consisting of x and c is equal to 7. So here a is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0. So yes, of course, this is a quadratic equation. Simple. Next question. Here equation is x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. Let us simplify it. Here left hand side is x square minus 2x and right hand side is minus 6 plus 2x. When we transpose these two terms from right hand side to left hand side, you will get here this is x square, this is minus 2x, this 2x will become minus 2x in the left hand side. So minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x and this minus 6 will become plus 6 in the left hand side so plus 6 this is equal to 0 of course this is also quadratic equation because a is here again 1 because this is 1 into x square so yes this is also a quadratic equation correct now let us see third case third equation is x minus 2 into x plus 1 x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. Let us simplify it. Let us multiply these factors. So after multiplication in the left hand side, we can write here this is x square 
minus x minus 2 and right hand side will become this is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3. From both the sides x square are here so this will be cancel out and minus x minus 2 can be transposed to another side so this can be written as 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. You see here there is no term consisting of x square it means when we will compare it we are getting a is equal to 0. When we compare this equation 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 with the standard form of quadratic equation. So there is no term consisting of x square. It means its coefficient will be 0 means a will be 0 is 0 here not will be 0. This is a is equal to 0 in this case a is equal to 0. So this is not a quadratic equation correct not a this is not a quadratic equation next fourth x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5 simplify it let us multiply these two factors in the left hand side it will be 2x square here minus 6x plus x minus 5x minus 3 is equal to in the right hand side this is x square plus 5x this is x square plus 5x or whenever we transpose these two terms from right hand side to left hand side it will be 2x square minus x square that is x square minus 5x minus 5x becomes minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0. You see this is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 10 c is equal to minus 3. A, B, C are all real numbers and A is equal to 1. This is not equal to 0. So yes, this is a quadratic equation. Fine. Understood. Very simple. Next, fifth. Here equation is 2x minus 1 into x minus 3. 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 into x minus 1. Let us multiply these two factors in the left hand side. It will become 2x square minus 6x and minus x minus 7x and plus 3. Similarly in right hand side whenever we multiply these two factors it will be x square then 5x minus x that is plus 4x minus 5 or whenever we will transpose these three terms to left hand side we will get the equation which will be x square minus 11x and this minus 5 will reduce to left hand side become plus 5 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 this is equal to 0 you see here a x square a is equal to 1 this is not equal to 0 correct so a b c all are real numbers a is 1 b is minus 8 sorry b is minus 11 and c is 8 a is equal to 1 1 into x square a is not equal to 0 so yes this is a quadratic equation next sixth here expression is x square plus 3x plus 1 and in right hand side x minus 2 whole square here left hand side is x square plus 3x plus 1 after expanding this square we will write right hand side x square minus 4x plus 4 x square will be cancel out from both the sides and finally here when we will transpose these two terms to the left hand side we will get here 7x minus 3 is equal to 0 you see here a is equal to 0 
because there is no term consisting of x square means coefficient of x square will be 0 that is a is equal to 0 so this is not a quadratic equation correct next 7th x plus 2 whole cube this is q here x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1 let us simplify it we will use the formula a plus b whole x cube that is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube so we can write here x plus 2 whole cube is equal to x cube plus 3a square b means 6 x square 3 into x square into 2 that is 6 x square plus according to formula next term will be 3 a b square so 3 into x into 2 is square means 4 3 is a 12 x this is 12 x plus b q means 2 q that is 8 and in right hand side multiply these two factors we are getting 2x cube 2x cube minus 2x okay we will transpose these terms to another side we will get here 2x cube minus x cube that is x cube 6x square will transpose to right hand side so this is minus 6x square minus 2x minus 12x that is minus 14x minus 14x and this 8 will be transposed to right hand side so it will become minus 8 is equal to 0 is it for equation no because here degree of this equation is 3 due to this first term x cube so degree of quadratic equation must be 2 means maximum power of variable should be 2 here maximum power is 3 so this is not a quadratic equation okay this is not a quadratic equation and the last one 8 here this is x cube minus 4x square x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole cube let us simplify right hand side this is x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 in left hand side and right hand side this is we will use the formula here a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube so this will be a cube means x cube minus 3 a square b means this will be minus 6 x square minus 3 x square into 2 minus 6 x square plus 3 a b square so this is 12 x and plus and minus b cube means minus 8 let us simplify it okay x cube will be cancel out from both the sides and this three terms will be transposed to left hand side so this minus 6 x square will become plus 6 x square so plus 6 x square minus 4 x square we will get here this is 2 x square and this 12 x will be transposed to left hand side so minus x minus 12 x that is minus 13 x and this is plus 1 and this minus 8 will become plus 8 this side so plus 1 plus 8 that is plus 9 this is equal to plus 9 is equal to 0 here this is in the form of x square plus bx plus c a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 13 c is equal to 9 a b c all these coefficients are constants are real numbers and here a is equal to 2 
this is not equal to zero. So of course, this is a quadratic equation. Yes, this is a quadratic equation. So uh, expressions or equations given in these different forms can be simplified and uh, we can compare the result with this quadratic equation standard form ax square plus bx plus c and we can decide whether the given equation or given expression is quadratic or not. So student you understood it very well and hope you are enjoying this chapter quadratic equation. This is very important chapter for board examination. So please remain in touch with these videos and hope you might have subscribed this channel. Please share these videos with your friends also. So thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.